bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by softlayer.com. We love Softlayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at softlayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Welcome to Music Business Daily, where we bring you the hottest music headlines. Today on The Daily, San Francisco Symphony is on strike, Beyonce releases a new album, and we say farewell to country music star Jack Green. Stay tuned. If you want to feel the wind blowing through your hair and see the great city of Nashville at the same time, check out Nashville Scooter Tours. Trekking through the downtown streets to Music Row with Nashville Scooter Tours is safe, eco-friendly, and a whole lot of fun. They use Xenon electric scooters that go 55 miles on a single charge. Find out more by calling 615-290-5563 or book your reservation today at NashvilleScooterTours.com. Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city. Welcome back to The Daily. It is Tuesday. I am JC. And I'm Bryn. Let's go right now. Uh, San Francisco Symphony um, has scrapped its East Coast tour due to a strike. And after three days of... Um, Marathon negotiations. Yep, they just said... Forget it. Forget it. They're so not going to do it. They're scheduled to begin this week actually at Carnegie Hall. And mm -hmm. there's 103 musicians actually with the symphony. And they've they're been on strike since, since Wednesday. Wednesday. So, I mean, they actually have been working without a contract since February 15th after they won a Grammy um, the, on the 15th Annual Grammy Awards, or 15th Grammy, I'm sorry, for Best Orchestral Performance. And actually, they earn a lot of money, more than I thought. They earn an, an average annual salary of 165000 um, the minimum is 141700 So really, they're making quite a Quite a bit quite to a be bit. a musician. That's probably more than the average musician in Nashville makes, let's be honest. Yep. And yeah. the last negotiation they turned down, it was a two-year contract um, with salary increases of 1% to 2%, and the symphony spokesperson completely sent that back this week. So We'll see what happens. Hopefully we have classical music back in California soon. Anyway, but we bid farewell to country music singer and Grand Ole Opry veteran Jack Green. Jack Green was a Grand Ole Opry star and a country musician. He died of complications of Alzheimer's disease, and he was 83 year old, years old this week. So he, he was known as the Jolly Green Giant at the Opry, yeah. which is really cute. And his biggest hit was called There's Go There Goes My Everything, which is a song that absolutely swept the first CMAs ever. So he's kind of a big deal. And um, funeral agents ha uh, re arrangements sorry, have not been made yet. But... Yeah. Gonna be, we're going to miss him there. Um, but what news about Beyonce? Beyonce is coming out with her first release song since 2011. It's called Bow Down, I've Been On. It's produced by Hit Boy, and it's really far from what I think her fans have been used to hearing because you have like her, she just has such a strong voice, and you know her sound when she comes on the radio. This is going to be a lot different. It's supposed to be more gritty and Houston rap tinged, right. which I can't help but think like her husband probably helped influence, like just a new sound, something new. and. Coming off of her really great performance at the Super Bowl, I think she has a huge fan following. She always has, but it's like people are really ready to see what's next for right. her. She's trying something new, so we'll see how it goes. Um, Zach Brown's Camp Southern Ground has named a new president and CEO, Rob Parker. As you might know, Camp Southern Ground is a really great thing that Zach Brown put on. Um, it's for kids with special needs so they can go to camp, and actually they're kind of integrated and learning and growing alongside kids with kind of typical needs. Um, but Parker, this new CEO, is currently serving as a CEO of Ronald McDonald House Charities of Southern California, is the former CEO of Kiwanis um, International, and served for 20 years and is senior executive for Boys and Girls Clubs of America. So he has a little bit of experience. He's got plenty under his belt. Sounds and like it, he's going to do a it's great a super, job. It's a super great um, charity and club, and I'm really, I'm really excited that they have such a great leader for this, and I think it will do great things as the charity continues to grow. But something that may not be growing anytime soon, a different club, I guess, Carly Rae Jepsen canceled her Boy Scouts concert over their anti-gay policy. Right. Carly Rae Jepsen, this week, she backed out as a headliner for this Boy Scouts America concert. It's the National Scouting Jamboree, and it's in July. And this week on Tuesday, she tweeted, As an artist who believes in equality for all people, I will not be participating in the Boy Scouts of America Jamboree this summer. So she completely, it's against her beliefs, she's not doing it. And the other headlining act is Train. They're still on the ticket, but they've also promised to back out. There's a vote in May, and they're hoping that they overturn this vote, um, and then they'll still play. I think there's quite a few artists with that personal belief. And side note, though, if I were the director of like a, a national Boy Scouts convention, I don't even know who you decide who you'd bring in for like playing at your Boy Scouts convention, because it seems so weird that they'd like... 
I feel like they'd be making fires and like we're having a huge <laughs> tent in camp. They wouldn't be like Carly Rae Jepsen. <laughs> like that's so right, weird to me. Right. But I, I guess it kind of makes sense because she's she kind of seems like a teen. Like here's There's a, a bunch of young maybe. kids in yeah. the group, right? But it's it just seems funny to me because I have no idea who I'd hire. I'd probably be like Barney. I don't. But I know, like, they get, like, they're in high school, too. So it's just such a wide age it's range. It's a really wide age range to try to hit all of those kids. But, I mean, hopefully they have some good entertainment or maybe they repeal the band and reach a middle ground. But something that's exciting is the band Perry are releasing their new album, Pioneer. And I have to say that their song, If I Die Young, was in my head on replay for weeks on end. So I'm really excited to see what they come out with next. And I think it's really cool that they are a band basically made of siblings, or they are made of siblings. It's Kimberly, Neil, and Reed Perry. And I can't imagine, I come from a family of three kids, so my sister and my little brother, and I think if we had a band together, there's no way we could be on a bus touring no, together. not at all. We would be fighting the whole time. So for so them to be able to together. ever get an album done and Very release impressive. it, let alone like more than one, is really cool, and I'm really excited to see what they come out with. But, I mean, if you fight on stage, you should let us know, because I feel a lot better about myself and my relationship <laughs> with my family. But we are excited for it. Um, thank you for joining us today on The Daily. If you miss us or you want to check out more from Talkopolis, you can find us on Facebook or you can find us on Twitter. And we also have a free phone app. And so we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.